it stops the replication of HIV. I feel empowered. I feel like the Dimitri Post diagnosis loves every inch of himself. Ask your healthcare provider if Big Tarvi is right for you and visit BigTarvi.com to view the important facts, including important warnings. Hello there. Welcome to Plus Talk on Plus Life, where we're all about turning positive into a plus. So you're HIV positive and you have to get on treatment. But what is treatment? What does it look like? How does it work? Good thing Dr. Anusa Chandri is here in the studio to break it all down. Yeah, nice. For, thanks for having me. I always like having you here in yeah. the studio. You are my personal physician. I do want to just make that clear to everybody. So that out of the way, what in the most simplest terms is HIV treatment? Simplest terms would be just a pill regimen. Right. Simple as that. But it, it is a combination. Or shots. Of, or shots, which we'll get to in a minute. But it's a, in a lot of cases, it's a couple of medicines in one pill, isn't it? A few different medications in one pill. Uh, to sum it up, it's three different. That's why it's called triple therapy. Mm -hmm. It's three different medications in one pill. Great. Okay. Now, when should I start HIV treatment? As soon as possible, Carl. The sooner you start it, the sooner that we can control the infection and decrease your viral load. And I keep hearing ARV. What is an ARV? Is that what I'm? Well, is that treatment? ARV is interchangeable with ART, so it's antiretroviral therapy or antiretrovirals. Um, it's. I would say there's about thirty different ARVs that are divided into six different drug classes. It's a little bit complicated. <laughs> okay. So. ARV, essentially what it does is it stops the replication of HIV, the virus in itself, so that your body can then... Or at least slows it down. Exactly. Right. So all these different medications that are under antiretrovirals can stop the replication process at various times. And that's where the drug classes come into play. So what are the factors, you as the physician, what are you looking at? when it comes to deciding which treatment is right for me. Yeah, it starts off, and that's why it's so important to do this immediately, right? To s accurately assess where you are right now within the infection status, how strong your immune system is or how weak it is. And also to ascertain what other medical issues you have. You know, I think it makes a difference if your kidney function is decreased, or if you have diabetes, or if you have heart problems. And based on all of that, then we choose the correct regimen for you. Right. Um, what is the difference between the pill, and now I keep seeing ads on TV, for injectables? Yeah, so the pill is what you generally start off with, and that's because we want to see how you respond to the pill. And once you've been undetectable for at least three months, then we can safely switch you over to the injectables that are administered every one to two months. Every one to two months. And to be clear, it's it's not just one shot. It's one shot in each cheek, right? Does it hurt? I mean, just like any other shots, yeah. yeah. And some people like shots. As you know, I do not when I come to visit you. I, I don't like anything to do with the needles. Is there argument for shot being better than pill, pill being better than shot? No. It depends on what you prefer and what you're going to stick with. Elaborate on that a little bit more then. Because if you're, if it depends on what you're going to stick with because with compliance, meaning sticking to it, then we can necessarily guarantee or there's a higher chance of you becoming undetectable. And there's something called pill fatigue too, which mm -hmm. a lot of people who have been taking pills for a long time go, I just, I, I physically can't do this anymore. Every time I take a pill, it reminds me of an HIV, my HIV status. Perhaps that's when a shot is helpful. Yeah. Or if you're like you and you travel all over the place. Yes. It's kind of hard to maintain the pill regimen with different time zones, correct? True. Can I switch my HIV treatment? So if I start on one particular drug, after a year, can I change to a different type of drug? Absolutely. But why change it if it's working? So that's number one. And number two, if your provider or your your doctor is going to want to switch it, if number one, it's not effective, which is why the blood tests and the routine blood work is very important, or two, the side effects are intolerable. Well, and that leads me to my next question. Um, do these treatments 
typically cause side effects? You can answer it, and then I'll give you my own personal yeah. perspective as someone who has yeah. been taking them for a long time. The side effects, I mean, there's a myriad of side effects, right? Like, I think by the way, though, like anything. any drug. Yeah. Yeah. And I say this, right? It's not just medications that cause side effects. Think about milk. Yep. That's right. Right? Yeah. For some people, they're lactose intolerant. It causes nausea, vomiting, bloating, diarrhea. So just like these medications, yeah, the, the plus point to this is that the side effects tend to wane or decrease as your body gets used to it. So side effects can include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, potentially weight gain, fatigue. But I would say the two side effects to look out for are hypercholesterolemia, which is high cholesterol levels, and something called long QT syndrome, where it's um, a different type of heartbeat. Mm. Uh, and so these are things to look out for that your doctor may then decide to change the medications if that is the side effect. And that's the great thing, going back to that previous question, there are a lot of options. So if you are somebody who starts treatment and is really having a horrible, horrible time with it, talk to your doctor and let them know you're not just stuck with this one treatment option. Yeah. And I will bring that back, you know, when we talk about side effects, from a personal perspective, you know, I don't, I haven't experienced any side effects that I'm conscious of. And that is to say, I don't ever feel nauseous. I don't feel, you know, bloating and diarrhea and all of those things, and I never have. So, you know, knock on wood. But you and I've talked about this. I am on a statin um, for cholesterol. So, there are things that you might not immediately feel. And that just goes to the point of how important it is to keep in touch with your physician about all of this. Absolutely. What is the benefit of me starting treatment and sticking to it as prescribed? Well, for yourself personally, if you're going to stick to the treatment, then the sooner that we can become undetectable, correct? Right. And then two is we just talked about all these side effects. So, you know, if you're compliant with taking the medications, those side effects are also going to decrease. But if you're not good with taking your meds, the side effects may persist. And then lastly, I would say, how will the doctor know whether or not the treatment's effective and necessarily need to change it if you're not sticking to that regimen? Mm. So this is why it's very important, not only for yourself, but it helps us to be able to help you in a better manner. And we love that you are here to help us all the time. Dr. Anu, thank you for your time. That is going to do it for this episode of Plus Talk. If you want more information, check out our website, pluslivemedia.com. And be sure to like, follow, share, and love us on social media. We are at Plus Life Media. Until next time, take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon.